Students, we are discussing the different phases of mergers and acquisition, and we talked about a four stages model. Um, now, in each of the stages of the integration of um, during a merger and acquisition, um, we will be concerned about the HR issues that take place in each of the phase. So you know that there are four phases, pre-M&A phase, due diligence phase, integration planning phase, and implementation phase. Uh, we are going to look at um, the HR impl impl implications in the uh, pre-M&A phase. So this is the model in which you can see that uh, the firm is growing stepwise over uh, the different phases. And we will be discussing about the HR implications in the pre-M&A phase. You know that pre-M&A phase is the phase in which you are uh, screening alternative partners. All right, so in the pre-M&A phase, uh, the HR activities or the HR challenges would be involved uh, in, in that particular stage are number one, identification of HR related issues. So, aap is cheez ko identify karte hain ki kis kisam ke HR issues ho sakte hain. Um, uh, staffing, uh, labor aapko asani se available hai. Uh, skilled workers aapko asani se available hai. Uh, logon ka knowledge pool is tarah ka hai. For example, kai jagon par human capital hi available nahi hota, human skills hi available nahi hoti ke aap us tarah ki industry wahan par leke ja sakein. So, uh, what different uh, HR related issues ke aap ko staffing karne mein masla ho sakta hai. Phir ye ke ye possibility hai ke agar aap developing country se kisi developed country mein jana cha rahe hain, to uh, developed countries mein Pays jo hain, wo bohat high hoti hain. To agar aapne logon ko apni uh, developing country ke standards ke mutabik agar aap pay karenge, to koi bhi nahi aayega aapke paas. So, uh, payment kaise karni hai aapne, compensation kaise karni hai, aur kya challenges ho sakte hain, kis kisam ke issues ho sakte hain, ye sab cheezein aap is pre-M&A phase ke andar identify karenge. Then, accordingly, HR related, you will plan for due diligence. So, you will be looking at different aspects ke jin ke upar aapko due diligence activities karne ki zarurat hai. So, what, what, what are the different types of uh, aspects of HR? So, whether you have to um, uh, plan about the training of your employees or the cultural issues of your employees or about security needs of the employee uh, of your employees for example if you are uh, going to a country which is uh, which is a victim of terrorism particularly uh, in case of pakistan if uh, multinationals are coming from outside they are really concerned about the security issues of their personnel and how they are going to um, make sure that uh, they remain safe and secure in their in, in, in a country which is, uh, which is being affected by such kind of dynamics. It's very much relevant for Pakistani environment, uh, sadly. But uh, right now it is, I hope, uh, and all of us, we hope that we are going to get out of that. Uh, then assess, um, assessing people uh, in that particular phase when you are all, you, when you're looking for alternatives, you will be assessing uh, a different type of people and uh, you would be looking for prospective managers, you would be looking for prospective leadership, you, you would be looking for people who can run your company. Then you would be uh, thinking about working out the organizational and cultural fit, how you will structure both the organizations, if there is organization mein lean structure, hai, ek mein tall structure, hai, Ek mein organic structure hai, dusra mein mechanistic structure hai, ek mein bureaucratic structure hai, dusra mein informal structure hai. To aap ne in dono ka mix kaise karna hai, inko integrate kaise karna hai, ya ye possible bhi ho sakta hai ki aap do different, starkingly different cultures ko, organizational structures ko aapas mein mix kar sakein. To aap ne ye dekhna hai ki aapka organizational structure 
اور کلچر آپس میں فٹ ہو سکتا ہے یا نہیں دین یو وڈ بی کنسرنڈ اباؤٹ فارمنگ دا ایم این اے اسٹیئرنگ ٹیم سو ہو وڈ بی دا فٹ پیپل ٹو اسٹیئر یور آرگنائزیشن ان ٹو دس ویری چیلنجنگ ٹاسک آف مرجر اینڈ ایکوزیشن سو ہو از گوئنگ ٹو بی دا ممبر آف یور اسٹیئرنگ ٹیم دیٹ از گوئنگ ٹو ڈیفائن ہاؤ یو آر ایبل ٹو مینیج دا انٹائر پروسیس and then educating the team on the hr implication on the hr implications so you need to educate your personnel how they are going to manage the hr of the people of the two companies who are coming together so in in this phase you will be actually uh, planning out the fit of people coming together in your organization So that is the, uh, the, the that that are the basic activities of HR in the pre-MNA phase.